Welcome back to the 9mm Ammo Quest, where I'm looking for the best ammo that will take a little micro pistol like this and turn it into a solidly, reliably performing defensive weapon capable of inflicting an incapacitating wound on an attacker. And by definition, that means 12 to 18 inches, no less than 12, no more than 18 inches, through calibrated 10% organic ballistic gelatin covered with four layers of heavy denim or also through bare gelatin. Well, it actually has to pass both tests in order for it to qualify. If it fails the bare gelatin test, it's out. And if it fails the heavy denim test, it's out. So today, gold dots are gonna be put to the test. Now these aren't uh, the plus P versions. I haven't found those in stock yet. So this is nine millimeter, 124 grain, standard pressure gold dots. Gold dots have a great reputation. Uh, I like them in many calibers. In fact, you know, the first thing I do when I buy a new caliber is I get me some HSTs, if they make them in there, and gold dots. So we're gonna give gold dot a try here. This is not marked, you know, specifically short barrel. They make short barrels in some calibers like uh, 45 ACP, I've tested short barrel gold dots. But these are just regular gold dots. We're gonna put those to the test. We've got genuine professional ballistic gelatin here this is the organic stuff going to be mixed at a 10 percent ratio prepared to fbi specifications uh stored at fbi specifications it's going to be calibrated to fbi specifications and it's going to be shot at proper fbi specifications so we're going to get uh the proper results for these gold dots find out what they're really capable of and if they're a suitable choice from the three inch short barrel of this sig 938. The 124 grain gold dots, you can only see three bullets in the picture, and that's because two of them passed completely through the second block. Not only the entirety of the first block, but they penetrated over a full 32 inches. They went completely through the second block, which uh, that would be called over penetration. That would be called a failure. So the three that did stop look pretty decent. One at 16 and a quarter, one at 16 and a half, and one at 17 and a quarter. So those would be fine if all five had been there, but when we've got 40% of our five bullets totally and completely over penetrated, that's not good. The recovered gold dots, mm, eh. this is the first time I've said something other than, wow, their gold dots are perfect. <laughs> that's what I normally say. Not really this time. Uh, this one is I mean, especially for having gone through denim, it's just perfect. It did fine. This one, a good third of it didn't expand at all. Uh, it did penetrate a little further because of that. But, you know, these two, this one and this one, this one's a little asymmetrical in its expansion, but penetrated deeply. And these two are absolutely great. This one's pretty good. If it wasn't for the two that totally failed to expand and zipped right through not only the main block, but also the backer block over 32 inches, uh, that that's going to rule it out. No reason to do any further testing because that's, that's a catastrophic failure. No point in even running the bear gel test because, like I've said, it's got to pass both the heavy denim and the bear gel test, and it failed terribly in the bear gel. The recovered bullets that I did get did well. One of them didn't fully expand, as you saw in the bullet breakdown. But, you know, when it worked, it worked well. But unfortunately, it didn't work every time. And we got to have it work every time. So I'm going to put a big old pass on the 124 grain gold dots. I will still be testing the 147s. I'm going to try to get a hold of some plus P. So we still have more gold dots to come. But I can say that for a 3-inch micro pistol, I would not be carrying the 124 grain gold dots. You do whatever you want, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to. I don't think it performed well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More episodes coming up all the time, including some really, really good performers. So hit subscribe and you'll be notified when new videos are posted.